Top 10 Most Dangerous Dog Breeds Almost all dogs can cause unimaginable damage and danger, but certain breeds are more prone to showing dangerous reactions and cause fatalities. These breeds should be the most attentive to, socialized, and trained obedience so that they can live happily in various households and situations. Although aggressive traits are in the nature of these dog breeds and type of dogs, proper nurture can play a huge role in turning them into loving and loyal companions. This list of top 10 most dangerous dog breeds is bound to evoke passion among dog lovers. It's true any dog can become aggressive. Dog aggression is often due to no socialization and fear or frustration. Any dog can be aggressive, although obviously larger dogs are more likely to inflict damage. It's difficult to give an accurate list of the most aggressive breeds as the CDC stopped including breed in their reports after 1998. They found that people should focus on behavioral and environmental factors that can make any dog aggressive, regardless of whether they're a pit bull or a chihuahua. Number 1. Pit Bulls It's probably no surprise from the constant media hype that pit bulls are involved in the most DBRFs in the CDC's Most Aggressive Dog Breeds study covering 1979 through 1998. These dogs have been widely exploited by the dog fighting industry and unscrupulous backyard breeders. The report says that 66 deaths were from pit bull type dogs, which could actually mean many other breeds and mixes. Several research studies have found it's difficult for even animal behavior professionals, animal control officers, and veterinarians to correctly identify pit bulls. Number 2. Rottweilers Rottweilers come in second to pit bulls on the most dangerous dog breeds list. According to the CDC study, this breed was involved in 39 dog bite fatalities. Due to their powerful, well-muscled frame, the Rottweiler can inflict a lot of damage if they bite, but a well-socialized and trained Rottie can actually make a great family pet. Like any large, strong guarding breeds, they need an owner dedicated to training and socializing them. When the dog heard the screaming, the dog latched onto the woman's rear end and the two tumbled down the stairs. The dog's owner had to pry its teeth off of the woman to help her escape. In 2015, a woman named Kasha Weston was five months pregnant when a group of men with knives barged into her home. Her Rottweiler came to her rescue and attacked the men. Three of the men made it out of the home and the fourth was held down by the dog until the police arrived. This goes to show that even though these dogs can be dangerous, some can be very heroic. Number 3. German Shepherds This breed is widely used in police work due to their intelligence and athleticism. According to the CDC, 17 fatal German Shepherd bites were reported, although 10 DBRFs were from mixed breed dogs that may have German Shepherd in them. Note, these numbers do not include deaths that occurred with police or military dogs in the line of duty. German Shepherds are loving dogs that will guard their humans if they feel they are threatened. They can be territorial of their home as well, which often results in aggression if not managed. If a friendly stranger comes into the home, a German Shepherd who has not been properly trained can attack. This can make them dangerous. If a stranger comes into the home who is planning to do harm, these dogs are also attacked. Overall, these dogs can be dangerous if they're not properly trained. According to the JAVWA study, the German Shepherd was responsible for fatalities. Most of these deaths occurred when the dog was trying to protect a member of his family. They can weigh up to 100 pounds, which gives them a great deal of power behind the attack. Number 4. Huskies The CDC reported 15 dog bite fatalities for Siberian Huskies. There were also 6 DBRFs for mixed breed Husky type dogs. It's possible that these mixed breeds may include similar looking breeds like Alaskan Malamutes, Wolf Hybrids or even German Shepherd Dogs or Shepherd Mixes. Siberian Huskies can be very independent minded dogs and training is a must with them. These dogs aren't only dangerous to living things, they can be very destructive in your home. If the husky gets bored while you're away, you could come home to chewed up furniture and a huge mess. According to the National Association of Dog Bite Statistics, over the past 15 years, the husky was responsible for 15 fatal deaths. With proper training, however, you could safely bring a smaller animal into your home. 
But before we continue with the top 10 most dangerous dogs, subscribe to our channel Curious Atmosphere so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Number 5. Alaskan Malamutes The CDC reported 12 dog bite fatalities attributed to Alaskan Malamutes. There are three listed deaths for suspected Malamute mixes which might have Malamute or not as there are several breeds with a similar look. While the Alaskan Malamute can be an independent dog like fellow sled dogs, Siberian Huskies. Their size, strength, and stamina can make them a handful for an inexperienced owner who fails to train and socialize them when they're young. Number 6. Doberman Pinschers Before pit bulls came to the forefront, public perception regarded Dobermans as the most dangerous breed. Statistics aside, their breed image got a positive boost from the popular Doberman gang movies in the 1970s. The CDC attributed nine dog bite fatalities to Dobermans. Like German Shepherds, Dobermans are prized for their keen intelligence by police and military personnel. They can be wary and aggressive with strangers, which makes socialization and training a must for any Doberman owner. They're very rarely aggressive to their owners. While their intelligence, size, and strength make these dogs unique, it is also what makes them dangerous. According to the Javma study, these dogs were responsible for nine fatalities. However, they were all in defense of their owners. In March 2014, an Oregon man was walking in his yard when he was attacked by his neighbor's Doberman Pinscher. He shot and killed the dog. Number 7. Chow Chows The CDC reported eight dog bite fatalities from 1979 to 1998. There were three reported DBRFs from suspected Chow Chow mixes. While many people have the perception that Chows do not give warnings before they bite, the truth is they can be very stoic and their body language can be hard to read by inexperienced dog owners and strangers. This breed does best with owners who can read them well and prevent bites before they happen. Many states consider this breed unacceptable and they require that the owners carry a special insurance to cover any damage that these dogs can cause. If they're not able to get the exercise they need, they cannot be physically active due to lack of space. They can become very aggressive and dangerous. There are Chow Chows who have risked their lives and proven that these dogs aren't all bad. Chow Chow Jared proves this point. He was hiking with his family when a black bear attacked. He saved his sister and his human parents from the bear. As the bear went to swipe Jared's owner, he jumped on the bear's back until the bear started to run. The dog chased the bear away, saving his entire family. Number 8. Grey Danes Today's Grey Dane is widely regarded as a calm and somewhat clownish giant, but the breed was originally developed as a dog of war. The CDC reported seven dog bite fatalities for the Grey Dane. If not properly trained and socialized as a puppy, they can be difficult to handle once they're fully grown. Their size and strength, coupled with a dog unfamiliar with people, can lead to bites if an owner is not responsible for managing their Great Dane. The Great Dane is an incredibly large dog. He actually holds the record for being the tallest dog in the world, standing at 44 inches. Originally, he was bred to hunt deer and wild boar. Over the years, being a hunter has become a genetic trait for this dog. If he is trained properly, the Great Dane can be an amazing family dog. These dogs typically love children, and many will allow small children to ride on their back like a horse. Number 9. St. Bernard the St. Bernard was listed as being involved in seven DBRFs. One St. Bernard mix was listed as well. This might surprise people who see this loving, faithful dog with the barrel on their collar who saves travelers stranded in snowstorms in the mountains. St. Bernards can get quite large when fully grown, weighing up to 200 pounds. An owner that isn't careful can find themselves with a powerful dog that can be dangerous if their behavior becomes aggressive. Number 10. Wolf Dog Hybrid The CDC report only lists nine purebred dogs on their list and the Wolf Dog Hybrid has the highest number of DBRFs among the list of crossbreeds. 
14 wolf dog hybrids were involved in a fatal dog bite incident between 1979 and 1998. Wolf dog hybrids are illegal to own in some states and highly restricted in others as they can be very difficult to contain properly and may have less domesticated behaviors than a regular dog. They can also have a tendency to be more fearful and can become aggressive by resource guarding and territoriality. Based on what we think is worthy, if you have more to share with us, share them in the comments below and wait for our interesting topics coming soon. If you think they deserve to be on this list, share your opinion in the comments below.